One, two, one, two. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I know y'all thought we was going to sleep on this Negro and let this Negro out off the hook, but we're not going to do that. You know, the dude want to constantly call my name, and I told you, I'm not the type to just roll over and play dead. You see, one thing about the conscious community is that some people like to say, oh, Saul, why would you respond to him? And we don't need to do that. We bigger than this. I agree. We are bigger than this. But when you get uh, a parasite inside of the community and constantly attack children and kids, I should not be the only one standing up, making videos, talking about this goddamn creature, this vulture. And the black women... That it that have wrenches, the sisters that that's on his channel, supposed to be moderators. You should be ashamed of yourself. You really should be ashamed of yourself, because it's like you don't. Who really care about the children? It see it shows the people that you really don't care about the children. You see what I'm saying? If you can have a nigga that gets up here talking about how ugly our children are. Because he have a disagreement with the father And y'all don't say nothing Then we really got to question you And then we got to look at those niggas That's over there that support this nigga Like y'all don't have children What if it was your daughter what, what if it was your son So we got a host of questions for Poppy Even though Pop Pop did not answer None of the, um, the questions I had for him on the last one He skipped around it You see what I'm saying He skipped around that like one of the questions is when he said that he molests children because he was molested as a child. Remember, I molest children because I was molested as a child. Those were his words. Instead of Negroes questioning that shit, you know what the Negroes say? Well, you know, um, you ain't played a whole video. You got to play the whole. You don't have to play his whole four hours. Because that's not what he's talking about the whole four hours. You played a statement that the nigga was talking about. So when he said he molests children as a child, here's the question that I would ask him. Number one, how old was you? Because we already know he considers to be a child under 18 years old. You could be 17 years old, but you, you're, you're a child if you're 17 or under. I mean, if you're 18 years or under, you're a child. No, I say if you're in the age racket of 16, 17, 18, I consider you to be a young adult because you posed to know better at that age. That's me. So we want to address the nigga constantly lying on me, lying on the people. We want to deal with some of that. We want to deal with it. I'm not afraid to. Are you? It looked like y'all afraid to deal with it. So let's get into some of this stuff to catch you back up to date. Um, Hold on. Share this video. Share the video because we need to see it. The people need to know what's going on. The people need to know. Is my mic too loud, y'all? Is my mic too loud? Because um, my joint be loud. My joint be booming. My mic might be too loud. If it, is it too loud? Talk to me. Okay, they say under 18 is illegal. All right, family. That's not I'm not saying that they wrong. That's not what I'm saying. According to this law over here in America, yes, it is. But to me, if you're 18 or 17, you're a young adult to me. I'm not calling you a child. You're not a child because you got brothers that's 15, 14, 16 that has families. That's making families. That's locked up in jail. That's doing goddamn life. The white man ain't calling them no goddamn child. They locked up in goddamn solitary confinement. They are in prison houses that's, um, you know, come on, fam. What is y'all dealing with? You know, they in prison systems right now doing life for bodies. And you still want to talk about they are children. No, hell no. They young adults. They better grow up fast, goddamn it. You see, you can make excuses for them all you want. So you telling me that be 
because he was underage. Let's say he was 17 and he's fondling nine-year-olds. You give him a pass because you say he was molested. These are the questions that we need to ask the nigga. So when he said, I touched other children because I was being touched as a child. Now, when he say that, my, my, my radar is up. I'm like, nigga, how old was you, nigga, when you was touching these children? And then the second thing is, how old was the children and how old was you? These are all fair questions, right or wrong, family? Come on, man, y'all keep throwing all this shit under the rug because he's telling you he was molested. So you'll let, you'll let him watch your baby now because you're saying he was molested. Well, the second question I would ask him is, guess what? You ready for this? What was your preference? Were they little boys or were they little girls? Because you was being touched as a child by another man. So who was your, um, your preference was, nigga? That's what I'm going to ask him. Was you touching boys? See, we're not asking these questions, y'all. You think we're being a little hard on a nigga when we ask this shit. No, if we saying that we love our children and we're supposed to protect our children, these are questions that I want to know. This ain't no funny shit. You know, it's the shit that I need to know. If you are a parasite in our community, you are a molester your damn self to me. See, you want to keep fucking with Sarnetta. You want to keep calling my name out, thinking that I'm not going to respond to you. But see, you calling the wrong motherfucker because I'm the one. I do this. This is what I do, bro. You understand that? This is what I do. I let everybody else go ahead and put it under the rug. But this is what I do. I come from this field of banging. If anybody knows Sarnetta, I've been banging on the street with my goddamn bullhorn for years. For years. And I tried to let this go, but I see he don't want to let it go. He want to keep on lying to the people, talking about Sarnetta killed Khalid Muhammad. We need to get rid of him. And, and y'all fall for this crazy stuff. So what we want to do, family, is revisit some of the things that the parasite, that the nigga said, that this goddamn psychomaniac said. We want to revisit, because I know the nigga watching. Sit back, Poppy. Go make you some goddamn popcorn, nigga. And, and just refute everything that I'm about to say. Because what I'm about to say is going to be real shit. It's just that what you say is the bullshit. It's not real at all. You see, you want to lie on people. But I'm going to revisit of what you got to say. And I want the people to understand. I want them to understand. All right? The problem with you people is that you are not paying attention to what is being said by Poppy. So today, tonight, we are going to take the time out today to break it all the way down, family. Are y'all with me? Do y'all want to break it down? Being that y'all ain't got the patience in the time, I'm going to have these patience in the time today. Being that this nigga constantly want to talk about me, he picking the wrong fight. He want to fight the. He want to fight Sarnetta. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna indulge him. We're gonna we're gonna fight with him. You want subscribers? That's all this shit is about. We're gonna give you the subscribers. I don't give a damn. I don't care about the subscribers. What I care about is my babies. What I care about is my children. That's why I'm the only one standing up. You see, everybody else is running and ducking and being quiet. How can you say you care about the black community, but when you got a nigga in the community that's talking about the babies, that's talking about the children, that's talking about our black women, all of a sudden, all you niggas is quiet. I understand you hate me. I understand you hate Brother Polite. But goddamn, that gives niggas the green light to talk about our families, and it gives niggas the green light to talk about our wives. But when it comes to you, you want people to defend you and stand up for you. See, that's how I know you niggas are full of shit. And that's why I do what I want to do. I don't give a damn about the popular opinion. So I never do what the hell he want to do. Because this is a dead ass nation. A dead nation. You over there and his sister's over there. <laughs> monitoring this nigga page after he disrespected women. And not only that, god damn, your, your woman... Your, your young lady over there allowing you to do all this crazy shit. She's even involved in 
doing the work, like promoting this nigga, like, yeah, play this video, or here, yeah, or play that video, man. What man brings his woman involved in this type of shit, y'all? That's the question, man. Believe me, I would never have my wife involved in this shit, on this YouTube shit, or any of this beef, or even use her for, no, nah, hell no. I'm not doing that. What nigga does that? Huh? You got to question her after that. Like, sister, do you really love this nigga? Because I know every time I'm live, like right now, my wife, baby, just relax, baby, leave it alone, man. Hey, I got to do this. This is what a man got to do. You understand? So that's me. And I want y'all to understand something, too. Poppy even talked about KRS-One kids. He said KRS-One kids need to be put down. They need to die. All because he disagree with KRS-One. There it is again. The attack again on KRS-One children, y'all. He said KRS-One kids need to die. Need to be put down. Why? Because he disagrees with KRS-One. What the children got to do with this shit? I thought this nigga supposed to be the face of child molestation. Notice you don't hear him talking about Bambada no more, right? Because it's all about views. The nigga was celebrating because the nigga had 65,000 views. Oh, family. We got 65,000 views, family. See, that's what's more important to him. Not, not no molestation. Shout out to all the real molest victims. I want to say that right now. All right? I want to send my deepest condolence to the molest victims that's out there. I love you. I want to get your story out. This ain't got nothing to do with you. This right here, what I'm doing, I'm dealing with a liar, a deceiver, a manipulator, a buster, a bird ass nigga who came on here to lie on Bambada just to get views. Because if it wasn't about Bambada, then how come he's not telling us about the other niggas that molested him? Think about that. Why? Because they names is not popular, family. Understand what I'm trying to tell you. They names are not popular. They not going to get, he's not going to get the views by mentioning them. And if he do mention them, they might come out and say, nigga, hold on. You know, me and you was in a relationship, nigga. So don't you dare lie. I'm coming out. I challenge you, Poppy. When you come out on your next video, tell us who molested you. Who was the one that opened you up? You said you, he said, by the time Bambada came to you, you was already broken in. Who talked like that as a man? Oh, I was broken in already. When Bam came to me, I was already broken in. This is his words. I don't need to play the whole fucking video for you to understand what he mean by that. That's because y'all niggas are looking for uh, an excuse for him. I'm not here to look for an excuse. So the last time you went in, let's give him a round of applause. You, that was an Oscar performance, nigga, that you did the other night playing my video against another man. That's an Oscar performance. But see, what I'm going to do tonight is I'm not going to be saying what you said. I'm going to let you say it. We're going to take the time out to hear what your crazy ass have said, you psychomaniac ass nigga. That's what we're going to well, That's what we're going to do. So the people won't say, so I know that you're putting words in his mouth and he, he, he ain't mean that. So family, before we even get started, I'm going to just keep talking. Let's hit this thumbs up. Let's like the video. Let's go in. Because you know his followers going to come in and try to thumb it down. So let's thumb it up right now. So I can begin this onslaught. Onslaught. Because I'm surgical with this shit. Y'all remember the movie with Training Day when Denzel Washington came in and he said, yo, you know I'm surgical with this shit, nigga. <laughs> well, God damn it, I'm surgical when it comes to this shit. This battle shit? This shit is fun to me. He, he the one that's going to be crying tonight. That nigga going to be crying. When I see him make videos of me, it motivates me to go and dig up and get more research. That's all the nigga do for me. He just motivates. Oh, shit. All right. Good. I'm glad he banging on it. I'm glad he keeping it on the YouTube level. Because I know a lot of niggas, too. Trust me. And they not motherfucking YouTube. And they not in no conscious community. That's what niggas get fucked up. They get it confused. I know a lot of niggas, too. That's not on YouTube. That's not in the conscious community. That's straight up niggas. Niggas get it fucked up. Understand that, check. Okay. <laughs> this is really old news already, saw. All right, so nigga, you can get the fuck out of here then. If it's old news, bye. Why you here? Get your ass, get, get the stepping, nigga. Get the stepping. Poppy must have did something to you. 
<laughs> we don't need you to tell us that. So let's like this video, y'all, so I can begin this onslaught. Come on. I got 733 people in the building. I need you to like the video so we can begin the onslaught. Let me know that you're here. That's all. Check. Let's get it. We're going to have some fun tonight. We're going to have some fun tonight, but we ain't going to have the fun until I get these likes up. All right? How you fucking with Polite? Easy, because me and Polite settled our differences. Polite ain't never raped nobody in my family. He ain't never raped nobody in my family, nigga. That's how I'm fucking. What you need to be asking is how is Poppy fucking with Bambada again? That's what you need to ask. Polite is my brother. I love my brother Polite, and I love his family. That's how I'm fucking with him again. Simple. See? Now you ain't got to ask me that question no more. Once I answer that. If you want to carry that shit on and be an enemy to polite, that's on you. Nigga, don't ask me about who it I do. That's what I want you to understand. I'm going to say it here for you. I love my brother polite. I love his family. I love his daughter. All right? I love his wife. So that's how I fuck with him. He ain't never raped nobody in my family. All right? I don't give a, I don't give a damn about money. Blood is thicker than water. That's my blood, nigga. How about that? You're mad now, right? You see? So let's get these likes up so we can get this shit started. Let's get it up. So now, family, pause. Don't you know Poppy sister is a millionaire? How many of you knew that? That Poppy have a sister who is a millionaire. Not only is she a millionaire, but she is also a pastor. Did y'all know that? She's a pastor. She's a millionaire. She's a pastor with millions of followers. Poppy will tell you that. Poppy will tell y'all that. That's not a lie. The question is, she's a pastor within a lot of pastors. So here's the question. Why she don't fuck with that nigga? Why she's not promoting him? Think about it, y'all. This is the question that y'all need to ask yourself. How come nobody in his family is promoting him? Because they knew who they know who the nigga is. They know he's a manipulator. They know he's a deceiver. They know he's a fucking liar. This is a pastor who have millions of followers. Y'all can follow her. He'll tell you. Go and look her up. But she don't fuck with him. Why? These are questions that I that y'all need to ask yourself. Or Fuck it. When you get on his channel, say, Poppy, how come your sister don't promote you? She have a YouTube channel. She had millions of followers. Why? Because I'll tell you one of the reasons. I ain't going to say this the reason. But don't you know he even came on YouTube and talked about her being molested without her giving the green light. That, yeah, go talk about. Go tell him what happened. No, he decided to open his big ass fucking mouth and tell everybody else her business. Her business. That's what he did. He told everybody her business instead of her coming out telling, you don't do that, family. You don't do that. Oh, no, I'm not wrong for this. How am I wrong for this? I'm re I only know this because he put it out there. That's why I play the record sometimes. Sometimes you need to shut the fuck up, nigga. Don't, don't I play that? So don't tell me I'm wrong. Everything that we know today is because this big fucking mouth nigga. This is not no secret science. The problem is, is that you are not paying attention. You listening to the sob story and you getting caught up in that shit. See, you getting caught up in his emotions. That nigga faking y'all. He's boot licking y'all niggas. He's buck dancing. No, that's not the, that's the wrong word. I mean, he's bamboozling y'all. He's hoodwinking y'all. That's what he's doing. But he can't hook with me. You see the shirt I got on today, right? This the energy that I'm feeling. If Khalid was here today, Khalid would be going in. This is it right here. You see the shirt I got on. I'm wearing that energy. Because the nigga said that I got Khalid killed. Come on, you're talking about this is low? What I'm saying is low? Y'all saying that this is family. How could this be low? I thought him... Talking about our children would be low. I thought him talking about our wives and daughters and women would be a low blow. Y'all consider this low? Family, y'all really need to get y'all shit up, man. 
All right. So we're going to start this off. When I get 200 likes up, we're going to go in. Let me open up the window. I'm already feeling the heat. I'm going in, y'all. <laughs> All right. I'm black. I'm black. I mean, I'm back. Same thing. I'm back. Okay, um, now, let's get these likes up, y'all. Come on, man. So here we go. We're going to start it off with revisiting what the nigga said, okay? So we can get a, a feel of what we got. Let's get it in. With you Negroes, that y'all find Negroes on YouTube to befriend. You find Negroes on YouTube to, be, to befriend, knowing that you don't like them, and then line them up. To attack him later on. I'ma act like I'm about your cause. And nah, cause you ain't no victim. You ain't no victim. Well, I tell you what. Let me find your motherfucking son. Right? Let me find your son or your daughter. And let me catch them at 12 years old. And when I stick heavy dick. In that little 12, 13 year old little bitch. I touched other children because I was being touched as a child. And let me catch them. Let me find your son or your daughter. And let me catch them at 12 years old. Let me find your son or your daughter. I touched other children because I was being touched as a child. And let me catch them at 12 years old. At 12 years old. What is the point of remixing my video? If I said it, I meant it. Let me find your son or your daughter and let me catch them at 12 years old. And when I stick heavy dick in that little 12, 13 year old little bitch. Do you know what you can do to a child at a young age of 12? Now, now understand family. He was talking to Kev Gill's children. Now, me, Kev Gill's polite, all of us, we bang on each other. But that's one thing that we don't go. We don't go to the kids. We don't do that. You know, polite might hate Kev Gills or Kev Gills might hate polite, but we never deal with the children. This nigga is talking about he touched other children. I want y'all to understand that. Listen to it again. I touched other children because I was being touched as a child. I touched other children now, because I was now being listen. touched as a child now poppy i want y'all to understand he considers a child at the age of 17 he considers himself a child at the age of 16 he considers himself a child at the age of 15 no i consider my grandson a child at the age of seven i consider my grandbaby a child at the age of eight when you get into them teens you got to know a little better and i'm gonna show you that the nigga was not no seven years old he was not 17 years old. I mean, seven years old. He was up there. So, who was you touching? When you say, I touched other children as a child. Was it boys, nigga? These are questions that we need to ask. Am I lying, y'all? Do we need to ask these type of questions? We need to ask these type of questions. Was it male children? Or was it female children? And even so, either one is bad. But goddamn, we need to know these things. Check this out. Let's, let's continue. To show you that he's saying it again. Let's go. We can't let people continue. Most people that's molested go on to molest. When I was a kid, I was being touched so much, I started touching other little kids too. Not as a grown man, but as a kid too. People who touch, they touch. See, he's letting you know. People who touch, they touch. So what do we need to do? We need to oust this nigga that's in our community. You got to watch him around the babies. I remember he tried to do some um, some movement about taking all the kids to, to he was trying to get something to take all the kids to the movies. Y'all remember that back in the day? So I want you to listen to this again. Listen, he's letting you know who he is. This is a monster in our community. Don't fuck with me, Poppy. You can never fuck with me. Let's go. We can't let people continue. Most people that's molested go on to molest. When I was a kid, I was being touched so much, I started touching other little kids too. 
Not as a grown man, but as a kid too. People who touch, they touch. So, I didn't say that. He's telling you, people who touch, they touch. He's telling you that. He's telling you what he's getting ready to do to your daughter that live next door. I didn't say it. Right. Am I right or wrong, family? So, y'all keep on following this buster if you want to. You can, But see, y'all promote him because you think he's saying something intelligent and he sound tough. So, y'all promote the nigga because you think he's tough. You know? But now, what I want to do is go on to, um, let's go and hear what he got to say here. Check this out. People who are molested, they start to touch on other children. Mm -hmm. So this is like a disease that's passed. The number one silent killer of our children in our community is child molestation. Once you do something like that to a child, you destroy their brain forever. You take a part of them that they will never get back. Now, did you hear that shit that he said? So for y'all to be saying, saw you tripping, saw you wrong, I didn't hear nobody said, saw you wrong when this faggot talked about snatching my, my wife titty off, killing her cancer, and I hope this bitch die quick. Nobody said nothing. Nobody said nothing. Right or wrong, family. So now when Sarnetta stands up to defend his name, his honor, his dignity, and show you who this nigga is and this parasite is in our community, you want to put a blind eye to it and say, Sarnetta, you wrong. I don't understand you niggas. I'm shining light. This is consciousness that I'm dealing with right now. I'm trying to show you a, a, a victim, a disturbed man that's in our community right now that needs to be put down. I would say that. I would go as that far to say that needs to be put down. Put to sleep. Fuck it. With lethal injection. <laughs> Not by none of us, y'all. I'm saying this nigga need to be put to sleep by a lethal injection, goddammit. I'm saying that. So if y'all niggas' hearts is too soft and too weak as a goddamn man to stand up for our babies and our children, then nigga, you move your ass out the way and let me do this goddamn work. This is what I do. I've been doing this for a long time. I tried to retire when I put the bullhorn down. So now I'm bringing the bullhorn right here on YouTube to the people. That's what the fuck I'm doing. You weak-hearted ass niggas, get the fuck back. Step back and let Sarnetta do what he do. All right? So... Now, listen to what he said. People who are molested, they start to touch on other children. Mm -hmm. So this is like a disease that's passed. The number one silent killer of our children in our community is child molestation. Uh -huh. Once you do something like that to a right. child, you destroy their brain forever. Right. You take a part of them that they will never get back. Right. You destroy their brain forever. When you do something like this to a child, you destroy their brain forever. Hit that like button. Family, when y'all come in here. So what happens if a child hear you and polite, if you're watching, please, brother, do not let my little baby, my aunt, hear this. Because like he said, what does this do to a child? That's why I don't do this when my babies is in here. They out right now. But what does, it, what does this do when a baby hear you saying this? Let's hear this out, y'all. This is last week. Poppy, let's go. I challenge polite to come and answer what I have to say. Polite, your daughter look like a, 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 a cockroach, just like you. Your daughter dead ass ugly. Dead ass ugly. I was nice before. Now I'm not being nice. Your daughter is dead ass ugly. That little bitch is ugly. That little bitch is ugly. That little bitch is ugly. Your daughter look hideous. Polite daughter look like a cockroach. Somebody gonna prostitute that little ugly ass daughter of yours. She ugly, she gonna have low self-esteem, and ain't nobody gonna take her buggy eyes ass serious. And I don't apologize, not even the slightest bit. This is the difference between me and these niggas. They sit up there and say, Poppy says, son, yeah, I fucking said it. Oh, he's supposed to be a, 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 a activist for the children. I don't give a fuck. Record every bit of what I say. I stand by what I say. And that's why the people can rock with me. Nigga, we come from the hood. See, that's why the people can rock with a nigga like that. Why? Because he's real, right? Y'all call that real shit, right? That's what y'all call real shit, huh? Because the people can rock with a nigga like that, that talk about the babies, and he say he make no apologies for it because you hate Polite so much. You hate the babies. You hate his daughter too because you hate Sarnetta so much. You hate my daughter. You hate my family. Huh? 
So you can let a nigga like this get away with this bullshit? Come on, family. Wake the fuck up, man. You asking me, why am I going in on this nigga? No, what you need to be saying is, yo, gathering up the troops, saying, yo, we need to go in on this nigga. Because guess what? It could be your baby. Not by him, by somebody else. And you would want them to stand up. Thank you, Max Bird. Thank you for that donation. Thank you, Savage Reese. I appreciate that. Salute to my motherfucking general in the building. Um, Iron Mike in the building. I'm going to call that nigga Iron Mike. Because Mike be going to fuck in. Iron fucking Mike. Edwards goes in. All right? So you telling me that that's all right to say. Why is son that are doing all of this? Why? Because I love my children and I love the babies. I see your baby as my child. That's the way that supposed to go. You got Jay Boggs that got, that got hit in his anus by Poppy talking about I'm chopping and screwing up. Poppy saying, do y'all think I'm chopping up what he said? How am I chopping up what he said? I get right to the point. I don't need to play the whole video. This is the smartest chat room on YouTube. I don't need to play this whole three-hour video. If I played a whole three-hour video, I wouldn't get past the shit that I'm going to say. All I need, check this out, family. By me playing this, do y'all think I took, took this out of context? I'm going to let y'all look at it. Check it out again. I challenge Polite to come and answer what I have to say. Polite, your daughter look like a, 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 a cockroach. Just Did I like take that you. out of context? Look at, look at your daughter dead ass ugly. Fuck, I need to play the whole Dead ass ugly. I was nice before. Now I'm not being nice. Your daughter is dead ass ugly. That little bitch is ugly. That little bitch is ugly. That little bitch is ugly. Your daughter look hideous. Polite daughter look like a cockroach. Somebody gonna prostitute that little ugly ass daughter of yours. She ugly. She gonna have low self esteem. And ain't nobody gonna take but her buggy eyes ass serious. Real niggas support him on and this, I don't apologize. This Not even the slightest talk. bit. This is the difference between me and these niggas. They sit up there and say, Poppy says, son, yeah, I fucking said it. See? Oh, he's supposed to be a, 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 a activist for the children. I don't give a fuck. Record every bit of what I say. See I that? stand by what I say. No, he's and that's why the people can rock with why me. The fuck nigga, are we you come from the to hood. Make excuses for this fucking nigga. Why are you making excuses for this parasite? Huh? Something is seriously wrong with you, man. And a lot of you niggas got children. Beautiful babies. And you stand by this nigga while he making these goddamn outrageous remarks on children. Let alone his wife standing by this nigga with this shit. Let's go to more. Check it out. This is where the nigga even disrespects KRS one child. Children. Talking about they need to be put down. Why? Because he dis. Agree with KRS One. So because anybody who he disagree with, he want to see your children dead too. Because he disagree with them. This the shit that y'all support. This the shit that y'all call real nigga shit. Let's listen to it in his own words. Check it. Yeah. So with KRS, I, I personally feel like KRS One need to be put down him and his children because you foul and the seeds that you breed in is foul. Y'all hear this nigga? Now do I need to play? The whole video for y'all to understand what he just said. Now you got this bitch ass nigga Poppy in my chat room. But I can't see me. Unlike you, bitch. I don't block you from my chat. I want you to come in because I want you to listen to what I got to say. I'm not scared of you, nigga. I'm not blocking you out of my goddamn chat room. But this nigga, he got me blocked. I can't say nothing. The people blocking me. I don't want none of my moderators blocking this nigga. I want this nigga to get this goddamn work. I want him to get this medicine that I'm giving him right now. I want him in here. I want this nigga to get this food, this medicine that I'm giving this fucking nigga. All right? But see, me, I go over there. He got me blocked on the phone because he know I give him that motherfucking work. He got me blocked on the phone call. I can't even call in. That shit goes straight to voicemail because he's a bitch ass nigga. You see? Only bitch ass niggas hide you and want to block you and don't want you to get your message out and don't want to challenge you. Because when I call in his show, I'm calling in to challenge this bitch ass nigga. But he got me blocked on every language, on every shit. See, but I don't got him blocked. I want him in here. I want him to get this food for thought. I want him to get this work. Damn, I should have wore that loaded luck shirt. You're going to get this work today, nigga. All right? So let's continue. Now, this nigga... Got a he, he he did a video yesterday, calls himself giving advice to rappers. 
listen to this nigga. You know, I know Poppy got he he's a three he he's dealing with three personalities or four, maybe four. But this nigga got a nerve to try to give rappers some advice. Let's listen to him. Listen to this nigga. This was yesterday. So when you running around and you speaking these spells through your music, words are spells. When you're rapping and your words go up to the heavens and every song is murder, death, kill, murder, death, kill. What do you think you're going to get back? This is the energy Listen you're to putting this nigga. into the universe. So this is the energy that you're going to get back. See, he I knows know what he's doing. Something. He going to get that energy back. These rappers that you watching that entertain you, they entertain us. 50 Cent. Is an entertainer. Takashi 69. See, listen, nothing you say about 50 Cent and Takashi 69 is gonna change their life, nigga. Talk about Bam Bottom, motherfucker. We wanna hear about what's that boy. Where the boy at? Let's talk about that boy. Fuck Takashi 69. Fuck 50 Cent. You diverting, nigga. The people ain't come on your channel to hear you talk about that. We wanna hear about Bam Bottom. How come you're not talking about that no more? You want to talk about Takashi 69 and 50 Cent and act like you giving them some fucking advice. These motherfuckers are millionaires. They don't give a damn about what you say. Huh? Because you diverting the whole conversation. Talk about that boy. Where's that boy at? What was his name, Poppy? How do we look, Poppy? You got the picture. We're going to get into all of that. Shout out to Israel Doctrine. That's what we're going to do. But here's this nigga again talking about he trying to tell them the energy that you put out, you get back. Well, what about the energy when you're talking about my wife? You hope she hurry up and die and that cancer kick in. What about the energy you're talking about my daughter? What about the energy you're talking about Polite's daughter? What about the energy you're talking about Melanin Sutek calling her all kind of bitches and all kind of shit? What about that energy? What about the energy you talking about Ronald Savage and how ugly he looks? I don't even know a man judges another man and why you hate Ron Savage so much. Huh? Let's talk about that energy. But you get on this shit yesterday because them dumb, deaf, and blind niggas that's over there following your dumb bitch ass listening to that bullshit. So here's what he said yesterday on his channel. No real shit. It may be real to them because they slow mentally and they dumb, deaf, and blind and sleeping mentally. But it ain't, it ain't slow to us. We know what it is. Here's what the nigga do yesterday. Listen to him. Trying to give them advice. So when you running around and you speaking these spells through your music, words are spells. When you're rapping and your words go up to the heavens. Right. And every song is murder, death, kill. Uh-huh. Murder, death, kill. Right. What do you think you're going to get back? <laughs> oh, shit. This is the energy. You're putting into the universe. Listen so this, this is the nigga. energy that you're going to get back. Right. I, I need agree. for y'all to understand something. It's the energy you're going to get back. These rappers that you watching that entertain you, they entertain us. 50 Cent is an entertainer. Takashi 69 is an entertainer. You don't know what the boy is an entertainer, nigga. Every other week he's going to jail. You're an entertainer. Every other week he's pulling up in somebody's hood. Every other week... Some, somebody's getting shot. Somebody's getting kidnapped. It is all a game, a hidden agenda to keep you from being focused on the politics of this world that is controlling your life. While you are sitting down and you're sitting back being entertained by Takashi 69 and 50 Cent. Fucking hypocrite. Two big trolls. They trolling you. They both trolling you. And this nigga's the biggest the fucking troll. You. You 50 Cent don't give a fuck about what this bitch is saying right now. Takashi 69 don't give a fuck up. If you really care, nigga, go into Brooklyn, go into the hood. You can find Takashi. I might, I'm, I think I'm supposed to be in the hood tomorrow. Where Takashi and him is at. I'm in Brooklyn, nigga. I'm supposed to be up in there in the heart, in the motherfucking, in the hood, nigga. You gonna see the video. Watch. You gonna see the video, nigga. I will be in the middle of the hood inside of that motherfucking shit in Brooklyn. So if you really care, take your bitch ass into Brooklyn and say that to Sakashi. But you don't care. You know what you're doing. It's just some entertainment for the people. You're a fucking entertainer, nigga. 
You wasting time talking about 50 Cent. You could have used that time and energy talking about Bambada and that little boy. Don't you know the key is to the boy poppy? If you find the boy poppy, you can, you can, yo, that shit right there, that says a lot. If you bring us the boy poppy or if you show the, the picture, post the picture of the boy poppy, you can't do it. You know why? We'll get into that later. And I'm going to show you who this nigga really is. Boy, leave me the fuck alone, nigga. Leave me alone, poppy. I'm surgical with this shit, nigga. I'm surgical with this shit. I'm taking the time out today to break down your shit that you've been bringing to people. Family, hit that like button because you know I'm bringing y'all real shit. I'm not saying what he said. I'm letting you hear what he said. I'm taking the time out to break this homo nigga down, this faggot nigga down. You want to fuck with me, right? Told you. Leave me alone. Let's hear what he say. Like I said before, when that video went back up, uh -huh. I never put it up. That shit, it just mysteriously popped up, up when Ron put the paper out. Listen. I was tight. He was tight. I was tight. He was tight. I was tight. He was tight. Told, I, was, I, was, I was straight tight. Now, everybody's saying that they don't cover up. Me? Mickey, Mickey is up. on See that? Uh, uh, Ice T's on manager. Mm -hmm. Me, Mickey, and Ahmed was on the phone calling Star. Star. <laughs> I never spoke to Star. I was just on the background with the phone mute. Yeah. They was trying to get Star to take my video down. Right. Star wasn't gonna take it down. Hell no. Moving right along. Right after that. All right. We desperate now. We got a clear bam name. He's desperate. We desperate now. We, we got, got a clear bam name. name. We desperate, desperate now. now. We, we got, got a clear bam name. name. We desperate now. We, we got, got a clear, clear bam name. name. You see? We desperate now. We got to clear Bam's name. Do I need to play the whole video for y'all to see that? If you want to see the whole video, it's up on YouTube. You can type it in. Type in Sarnetta and Poppy. And you'll see the video pop up. If you got time to go and hear the whole video in order for you to understand what he mean by that nigga, go knock yourself out. But the nigga didn't want that up there. He didn't want Ronald Savage. He said when Ronald Savage came out, he wanted to bust Ronald Savage head to the white meat because me and Bambada already settled our differences. We made up. But guess what? Bambada wasn't happy. Bambada wasn't pleased with the nigga. Just because the video went up, he said, nah, nigga, we tossing you aside. We done with you. That's what made Poppy want to come out because Bambada gave up on the nigga. So Poppy said, okay, I got to come out now. Being that it's already out there, Ronald Savage came out. Let me come out. And Ronald Savage hate uh, he, I mean, um, Poppy hates Ronald Savage to this day. Because why? Ronald Savage had the heart to come out. He is the motherfucking superhero. Not this nigga. He manipulated y'all. He manipulated you. And me too. He manipulated me too. Check. This some real shit that I'm hitting y'all with. Hit that like button, goddammit. Now let's find out what happened to that boy. Because this is his own words. And I want y'all to really pay attention. I'ma fuck this nigga up. You wanna fuck with me? I'm fucking you up, nigga. Answer these questions. Let's go and get it. Africa Bambada got stabbed. Uh-huh. Listen. By a young man. Yeah. Who allegedly. I say alleged because I never known Africa Bambada to play with drugs. Right. So that part I say alleged, alleged. but nevertheless, that man woke up, that young man woke mm -hmm. up in Africa Bambada's house. Right. Yeah. Tell with him. Africa Bambada giving him oral sex. Talk, nigga. That man went into the kitchen. He grabbed a knife. Uh-huh. He commenced a stabbing bam. Stabbing him. I met Henderson, ran in the room, which right. is Ben Bada's manager who's a black slash yeah, roommate. Who's a black belt. He ran in the room to help Bam. I met as a black belt. That dude was yeah. so mad, he stabbed I met too. Yeah, right. And ran out of the house. I met as a black belt. Right. He couldn't even stop him. The kid was so mad, swinging that knife. He ran out of that house. Listen to his story. I went to the hospital. I was one of the first ones there. Why? Because Bam raised me. I was one of the first ones there. Why? Because Bam raised me. I was one of the first ones there. Why? Because Bam raised me. 
He was one of the I was first raised in the Zulu nation, and some of my family members are Zulu members. Y'all don't understand how deep that go. Woo. But anyway, anyway, I went to that hospital. Yeah. When I got to that hospital, what happened? And realized what was going on, uh -huh. and what the situation was. Yeah. When I got to Bam's house, right. after Bam got out of when the you hospital. Got to Bam's house. When I got to Bam's house, oh. after Bam got out of yeah, the hospital. When, you what? when I got to Bam's house, after Bam got out of the hospital. Damn, you still going to to Bam's figure house? out what really, Damn. really happened, yeah. and he gave me the picture right. of a light-skinned Puerto Rican little boy that looked just like me as a kid, and he gave me that picture. Right. Because I was going to be the one who killed that boy. Boom. For Africa Bambata. Uh-huh. Because I was going to be the one who killed that boy. Right. For Africa Bambata. For who? Because I was going to be the one who killed that boy. For who? For Africa Bambata. Okay. Sometimes you run your mouth way too much, nigga. You need to shut the fuck up, nigga. You might think you can't be touched, nigga. Shit. All them facts you fucked up, nigga. How the hell is you the truth, nigga? You just be hollering in the booth, nigga. What the fuck is your proof, nigga? You nuts so up on that roof, nigga. Suicide fly, live a suicide life. Divorced if it in the living and married that suicide wife. I should have listened to my mama. Everything would be alright. My life is full of darkness. I tried to walk in that light. Never thought that I had the fight. Never me the thought fuck that alone, I had bitch. the right. My perception Keep leaving my me stressed. Keep my name out your faggot ass mouth, nigga. Damn. And we can continue to move on. Hard work gon' become hard work. As long as you keep my name in your mouth, I'm gonna body you, bitch. You keep guard for second. Make my mama hard. Her bugging just made my jaw hurt. Hard head, soft ass. Heard it from my grandma first. If you don't listen, you gon' lose pride before the fall. You ain't got nothing to prove, only got something to lose. You the one who got in them shoes. Be a leader, never gon' follow. You lead, they gon' follow you. I'm through. I'm through. <laughs> but I had them diamonds on my mind, blind to the fact my grandma jewels would've held me shine. I'm on my grids that mixed with grind, packing that steel, I'm spitting that iron. I did what I wanted to until I did that jail time. I have thoughts of suicide. If you don't, then you a lie. Make you blow your brains out when people say you watch your mind. Now I cut school, I ain't had. Time. Tell the truth, I have lied Just to get her out them clothes And now our son about to be five Damn, huh. I should've listened I should've listened Instead I chose that role Impossible to dodge prison All my gifts is God given Blessing me, dog Spirit, unique I don't sound like the rest of these bars I done fell, I done fucked up Got them felonies, dog If you ain't gon' take no losses Ain't no lessons involved See my scars, baby Feel my pain, I'm free I'm no longer hating the color The same as me Probably thought it was you. Now it's plain to see Every line I dropped in a song It was aimed at me Cause sometimes I run my mouth way too much nigga Way too much nigga I need to shut the fuck up nigga Shut the fuck up nigga Might think I can't be touched nigga Shit, Shit. All them packs I fucked up nigga How the hell am I the truth nigga I just be hollering in the booth, nigga. Hollering in the booth, nigga. Where the fuck is all my proof, nigga? Uh -huh. I'm feeling like nuts so up on that roof, nigga. Cause I was going to be the one who killed that boy. For Africa Bambata. <laughs> Cause you was gonna be the one to kill that boy from for Africa Bambata. Here's the question. Did you kill him? My intentions was never to lock Bam up. And I'll say it again. If I wanted Bam to go to jail, I've been around for a long time. This shit that we all have done that don't have no statute of limitation, and I'll leave it as that. Uh-huh. You see what I'm saying? So if, if I wanted Bam to go to jail, Bam would be in jail. Did y'all hear what the fuck he just said? Shut the fuck up, nigga. Huh? Come on, man. Throw this shit up. Give me some thumbs up. Give me some likes. I'm busting this nigga ass. You can't come back from this. What is you going to say now? Saul's a troublemaker. Saul be on that shit. Saul always doing this. Saul's this. He's a demon. Nigga, shut the fuck up. We heard all that. Bring some receipts, nigga. Prove what you say about Sarnetta, nigga. Prove it. Prove what you say about Sarnetta. Bring your receipts like I'm bringing mine today. Huh? So now, the nigga said if he wanted Bambada locked up, he could have got Bambada locked up. Y'all missing it. You missing it, family. I'm going to play it again and I'm going to see if y'all get it. Listen 
Good. That's why the topic is dealing with this. I need y'all to hear what the nigga's saying. He's telling you, but y'all missing it. He knows that his followers is too fucking dumb to understand what he's saying or to break down. Or we need to play the whole two hour fucking video just to hear this one point. Let's get to this point right here. Check it. He mad at you because you ain't banging on Bambada. But this bitch just told you niggas. If I wanted Bambada locked up, I could get him locked up. But he don't want him locked up. He don't want Bambada locked up. Let's get to it. And we're going to break it down. My intentions was never to lock Bam up. And I'll say it again. If I wanted Bam to go to jail, I've been around for a long time. This shit that we all have done that don't have no statute of limitation. And I'll leave it as that. You see what I'm saying? So if, if I wanted Bam to go to jail, Bam right. would be in jail. Right. Did you get it, family? I want to see uh, because I know this is the smartest goddamn chat room. What did y'all get out of that right there? Not just him not wanting Bam to go to jail. What is it? I'm going to play it again. I want y'all to really listen because I always say that this is the smartest chat room. Okay? So let's get it. My intentions was never to lock Bam up. And I'll say it again. If I wanted Bam to go to jail, I've been around for a long time. This shit that we all have done that don't have no statute of limitation and I'll leave it as that. You see what I'm saying? So if, if I wanted Bam to go to jail, Bam would be in jail. Let me break it down for you, family. If he wanted Bam Bada to go to jail, there is shit that don't have no statue of limitation. So right there, we know he's not talking about molesting. There is shit that don't have no statue of limitation. If I wanted Bam Bada to go to jail, he would have been in jail. There is shit that don't have no statue of limitation. Check. So the nigga not talking about molesting right there at this point. We know he's talking about murder. Bitch, where's that boy at? Where's that boy at, nigga? We know you ain't talking about molestation because this is what you said. Let's pay attention, family. I'm going to break this nigga down to the lowest compound. Let's go. You want to fuck with the king, nigga? Let's go. My intentions was never to lock Bam up. And I'll say it again. If I wanted Bam to go to jail, I've been around for a long time. This shit that we all have done that don't have no statute of limitation and I'll leave it as that. Uh-huh. You see what I'm saying? I so if, if I wanted Bam to go to jail, Bam would be in jail. Right. If you wanted Bam to be in jail, he would have been in jail. But the reason why he can't go to jail and the reason why your bitch ass won't come out and talk about it is because, nigga, it becomes what? Conspiracy to murder. If Bam body go to jail, your bitch ass go to jail, nigga. Conspiracy to murder. That's why you can't go to jail. That's why you don't want to get Bam body locked up. That's why you want us to do it. Because if you do it, then your ass go to jail too for the conspiracy to murder. Remember, he gave you the picture. Remember, Poppy, you was the first one that went to the hospital. Remember, Poppy, you, motherfucker, was the one going to Bam by the house. Now, let's go back to that because I want y'all to really understand this now. Poppy want to fuck with the king. I don't know why you fucking with me. I'm the best at this shit, nigga. I'm the best when it comes to this shit. Listen again, y'all. Listen. I'll give you a prime example. The dude that stabbed Bam up. Uh-huh. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He said so confidently. Mm -hmm. Now, I do know, I do know, <laughs> I was one of the soldiers that was supposed to hit him. Uh-huh. Listen. Listen, y'all. Listen to this motherfucking story real good. Africa Bam Bada got stabbed by a young man who allegedly, I say alleged because I never known yeah, right, Africa bitch, Bambata right. to play with drugs. So that part I say alleged, but nevertheless, that man woke up, that young man woke up in Africa Bambata's house. Listen. With Africa Bambata giving him oral sex. Mm. All that boy tried to do that was, man went is into to the bring kitchen. dignity back to him. And these niggas he grabbed a knife. Something. He commits the stabbing, bam. Yeah, damn right. Stabbing. Why you ain't stab him, nigga? I met Henderson. Why you ain't try to ran stab him? in the room, which is Bam Bada's manager slash roommate. He ran in the room uh -huh. to help Bam. Right. I met as a black belt. Yeah, the fuck that dude head. was so mad. Black belt. That he nigga stabbed I met too. Kid, nigga, shut the fuck up. And ran out of the house. Right. I met as a black belt. Get the fuck he couldn't even stop him. The kid was so mad. Nigga's a white yellow belt. Swinging that knife. He ran out of that house. Right. 
I went to the hospital. Listen. I was one of the first ones there. Why? Because Bam raised me. Raise it. Bring it I was back. one of the first ones there. Why? Because Bam Bring it raised back. me. Bring it back. I was one of the first ones there. Why? Because Bam, Bam. raised me. Yes. I was raised in a Zulu nation, and some of my family members this are Zulu members. Point right here, y'all don't understand y'all. how deep that go. But anyway, I went to that hospital. When I got to that hospital, you also went to his house too, right? And realized what was going on. Let's check it out. And what the situation was. He's when I got to Bam's house, after Bam got out of the hospital. When I got to Bam's house, Uh-oh. after Bam got out when of the hospital. Went, when I got to Bam's house, after Bam got out of the hospital. That's all the fuck we need to hear. When he went to Bam's house after Bam got out of the hospital. Now, let's do some math right here, y'all. Let's do the math. This incident happened 2013. Poppy, you can never fuck with me, nigga. You waking up a sleeping lion, nigga. I tried to retire. I tried to go under the radar. But what you do? You brought me back out into this shit. You brought me back into this bombing shit, nigga. So now it's all bombs, all motherfucking missiles coming at you, bitch. So now. This incident happened with the young boy stabbing Bam Bada up because all that brother wanted was to bring dignity back into his life. He wanted to represent himself as a man. Nigga, you giving me oral sex, nigga, while I'm sleeping, I'm stabbing this nigga up. And what did you do, Poppy? You went out there to try to look for the nigga. Caught the nigga. Brung the nigga back, which you should have did. You ain't do that. But the young boy did it, though. But you a thorough nigga and you a real nigga, huh? But the young boy that did it, You don't hear him doing all this running off his fucking mouth. But he did it. But let's go to it. This incident happened 2013, family. Poppy is 41 years old today. Poppy been going to Bambada House when he was how old? I want y'all to put that shit inside the chat room. Put it in the chat, nigga. Don't act like y'all don't know this math. The incident happened. 2013 when Bam Bada got stabbed up. Poppy is 41 years old today. Today is 2018. Which makes Poppy how old in 2013, niggas? Don't fuck with me with this shit. I'm lethal when it comes to this shit. Huh? Put it in the chat room. How old was this nigga? How old was Poppy going back and forth to Bam Bada's house, nigga? No, he wasn't 15. Y'all niggas is falling off. Thank you, family. Thank you. The nigga was 36 years old. Did I say that or did that nigga say it? Huh? All it takes is a little bit of fucking thinking. All it takes is to break this nigga down. Slow down. Listen to what the nigga is saying. And then you go and dissect that shit. This nigga was not no little fucking kid, y'all. He was 36 years old. Going back to Bam House. Huh? The incident happened. Go and do the research with Mickey Benson and all of them when the kid stabbed Bam Bada up. For what? To, to, for his pride, for his dignity, for his manhood. And Poppy wanted to get him for doing that, which Poppy should have been doing that. Huh? So, let's do the math. Leave me the fuck alone, Poppy. I'm lethal with this shit, nigga. I'm surgical with this shit. So we're going to do the math. Listen to Poppy in his own fucking words. Let's go. Africa Bambada got stabbed by a young man. 2013, y'all. Who allegedly, uh-huh. I say alleged because right. I never known but he Africa told Bambada that he been to play with drugs. With this nigga was 36 years old. So that part I say alleged, but nevertheless, that man woke up, that young man, Woke up in Africa Bambada's house with Africa Bambada giving him oral sex. That man went into the kitchen. He grabbed a knife. He commenced to stabbing Bam. Stabbing him. I met Henderson. Ran in the room, which is Bambada's manager slash roommate. He ran in the room to help Bam. Ahmed is a black belt. That dude was so mad, he stabbed Ahmed too. And ran out of the house. Ahmed is a black belt. He couldn't even stop him. The kid was so mad. No fucking black belt. Swinging that knife. He ran out of that house. I went to the hospital. I was one of the first ones there. Why? Because Bam raised me. 
Uh -huh. I was one of the first ones there. Why? Because, because Bam, Bam raised, raised me. me. Listen. I was one of the first ones there. Why? Because, because Bam, Bam raised, raised me. me. Listen. I was raised in the Zulu Nation, and some of my family and members are Zulu the house members. At the age of 36, Y'all don't understand how deep that goes. Let's go. But anyway, I went to that hospital. Uh-huh. When I got to that hospital. Right. And realized what was going on. Talk, nigga, talk. And what talk the situation talk, was. Nigga. When I got to Bam's house. Uh -oh. After Bam got out of the hospital. When I got to Bam's house. Get the fuck out of here. After Bam got out of the hospital. When I got to Bam's house. After Bam got out of the hospital. After he got to the To figure hospital. out what really, really happened. And he gave me the picture. Of a light-skinned Puerto Rican little boy. That looked just like me as a kid. Hey. And he gave me that picture. Because I was going to be the one who killed Kill that boy. That boy. For Africa Bambada. Uh-huh. Because I was going to be the one who killed that boy. For who? For Africa Bambada. Uh-huh. Because I was going to be the one who killed that boy. For who, nigga? For Africa Bambada. Keep talking, bitch. Sometimes you run your mouth way too much, nigga. You need to shut the fuck up, nigga. You might think you can't be touched, nigga. Shit. All them facts you fucked up, nigga. Hell is you the truth, nigga. You just be hollering in the booth, nigga. Where the fuck is your proof, nigga? You nuts so up on that roof, nigga. Suicide fly, live a suicide life. Divorced it for the living and married that suicide wife. I should have listened to my mama. Everything will be listen to your mother. My life is full of But what did you say about that? You ain't wanna listen to your mother. You decided to go out there to write my perception. Listen to these lyrics. Thought it came overnight, damn. Hard work gon' become hard work And it's gon' remain the same until you keep guard First up and make mama hard hurt But then just made my jaw hurt Hard head, soft ass, heard it from my grandma first <laughs> If you don't listen, you gon' lose Pride before the fall You ain't got nothing to prove Only got something to lose You the one who got in them shoes Be a leader, never gon' follow You lead, they gon' follow you I'm through <laughs> But I had them diamonds on my mind Blind to the fact my grandma juice Would've helped me shine I'm on my grist and mixed with grind I'm spitting that line. I did what I wanted to until I did that jail time. I have thoughts of suicide. If you don't, then you a lie. Make you blow your brains out when people say you watch your mind. Now I cut school, I ain't had time. Tell the truth, I have lied. Just to get her out them clothes, and now our son about to be five. Damn. Huh. I should've listened, I should've listened. Instead, I chose that role impossible to dodge prison. All my gifts is God given, blessing me, dog. Spirit, unique, I don't sound like the rest of these bars. I done fail, I done fucked. Up, got them felonies, dog. If you ain't gon' take no losses, ain't no lessons involved. See my scars, baby. Feel my pain, I'm free. I'm no longer hating the color the same as me. Probably thought it was you. Now it's plain to see. Every line I dropped in a song, it was aimed at me. Cause sometimes I run my mouth way too much, nigga. I need to shut the fuck up, nigga. Might think I can't be touched, nigga. Shit. All them packs I fucked up, nigga. How the hell am I the truth, nigga? I just be hollering in the booth, nigga. Where the fuck is all my proof, nigga? I'm feeling like nuts so up on that roof, nigga. See? Because I was going to be the one who killed that boy. For Africa Bambada. One thing that people say. It's Sonetta. Why are you doing that? You old. You can't be, nigga. I'm old. Yeah, I'm not. I, I don't consider myself old. I'm old when I got that cane and I can't walk no more. God damn it. I got the energy in me. I got the fucking, the spirit. I'm, I'm on the shoulders of Harriet Tubman and Dr. Khalid Abdul Muhammad, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Khalid ain't take no shit. And who do you think I learned this from? I learned it from Khalid Muhammad, nigga. Khalid Muhammad was one of the best debaters of all time. Check. So, he was one of the best fearless debaters of all time. So, where do you think I get this from? The man who made me a man, Dr. Khalid Abdul Muhammad himself. I don't need to say no more, man. This shit is over with already. But I'm going to say more because I want to bury this bitch. Anything else you say, nigga, keep my name out your fucking mouth. I'm lethal with this shit, nigga. I'm surgical with it. My intentions was never to lock Bam up. Right. And I'll say it again. Right. If I wanted Bam to go to jail, uh -huh. 
I've been around for a long time. This right. shit that we all have done that don't have no statute of limitation, and I'll leave it as that. Right. You see what I'm saying? So oh, if, if I wanted Bam to go to jail, Bam would be in jail. Shit is beyond statute of limitation. That don't, it don't have no statute of limitation. So we know the nigga talking about murder. Where's the boy, Poppy? Where's the picture, Poppy? If you didn't, if y'all niggas didn't kill the boy, then show us the picture so we could track him down and find him, Poppy. That's what we want to know. When this nigga going live, family, I need everybody to constantly ask him, where's that boy, that young little boy that her mother is looking for who only wanted to bring a little dignity back to his life for Ben Bada trying to take his manhood that Poppy was too bitch to do, that want us to do it. Understand that. Understand that. But see, this is what he got for me, though. Listen to what he got for me. This is what he do for me. Check it. When he bang on me, he got the lie. He ain't got no tr no proof, no receipt. Listen to this bitch. Listen. If you ain't going to do something, shut the fuck up. Yeah. That right there. If you ain't going to do something, shut up. Yeah, that right there is for you, Poppy. After all that shit that you want, if you wanted Bam to get out, you could have got Bam. But if you ain't going to do nothing, shut the fuck up. See, so Poppy even talking to herself right here. Listen, hold on. My intentions was never to lock Bam up. Right. And I'll say it again. Uh -huh. If I wanted Bam to go to jail, I've been around for a long time. This shit that we all have done that don't have no statute of limitation. And I'll leave it as that. You see what I'm saying? So if, if I wanted Bam to go to jail, Bam would be in jail. So, nigga, if you ain't going to do nothing, shut the fuck up. If you ain't going to do something... Shut the fuck up. If you ain't going to do something, shut up. Right. You giving yourself advice. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Because you ain't doing nothing. If you want Bam to go to jail, then why he ain't in jail? Why all of us got to sacrifice our life to get Bam by to lock the fuck up? Huh? Why you ain't getting him locked up? If you ain't going to do nothing, shut the fuck up. Give yourself that advice. Because I tell you why. You took money. Bambada was paying you, nigga. Oh, yeah, I got the receipts. And I'm not just saying it. He's going to tell you Bambada was sending this nigga money. Who gets money from their molest victim? Huh? Talk to me. Who get money from their molest victim? Let's go. This is knowledge that I'm dropping to y'all niggas. Y'all need to understand that. Y'all need to know that Sarnetta is surgical with this shit and he's bringing this and I'm bringing y'all the knowledge that y'all sleeping on. Y'all letting this nigga rock you to sleep. Like Malcolm said, he's hoodwinking you. He's bamboozling you. He'll get on YouTube and sometime move the glasses so y'all can see his eyes is watery. That's a fucking act. He's an actor. She's an actor. Don't believe her. Don't believe her. Listen. Look at him. He was getting money from Bambada. But he lied to us and told us that Ronald Savage took the bag. That's what he told us. Y'all remember that? No, nigga. Ronald Savage never took the bag. You took the bag. Spill the beans on yourself, nigga. That's why you need to shut the fuck up. Listen. Mm. Even after the situation that happened with, um, with the meeting, we had the meeting. Uh -huh. I wasn't feeling too good or whatever right. the case may right. be. He sent me some herbs. Yeah. I had to take one of my dogs to the vet, emergency right. op operation. He Western you me some money. Ooh. Anything that I ever needed from Bam, see, don't get it messed up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't need to play the whole tape for that shit. All I need to hear is that, nigga. When you got sick, Bam Bada took care of you, nigga. He sent you herbs. He Western you and you money. That's what you said. I didn't say that. I don't need to play the whole clip. Some people say, well, why you ain't play the whole clip? Nigga, shut the fuck up. I don't need to play the whole clip to hear all the other bullshit. All I need is that part right there. Because I want to play the part that's going over everybody's head. Let's hear it again. You took that bag, nigga. Mm. Even after the situation that happened with, um, with the meeting, we had the meeting. I wasn't feeling too good or whatever the case may be. He sent me some herbs. I had to take one of my dogs to the vet, emergency op operation. Look at he this. Western you me some money. Anything that I ever needed from Bam, see, don't get it messed up. See, not only was he taking care of you, Poppy, but he was also taking care of your fucking dogs, nigga. Your dogs that you love so much. 
You even you said that. I didn't say it. So now I want y'all to listen to Poppy. And that's why I keep telling y'all, notice damn near everybody that Bam Bada, they say Mad Bada molested, were teenagers. They were teenagers. They wasn't little kids like eight years old, seven years old. They knew the choice that they was making. They were babies. Now, let me get on record by saying this. Bam Bada is a molester. I'm saying that right now. Bam Bada is a fucking molester. Yes, I'm saying that. I'm letting y'all know that. But at the same time, Bam Bada did not force Poppy. He did not force you with a gun, nigga, or a knife to do what he do. He made propositions, and you had a choice to make. Just like the other Brooklyn brother from Brooklyn. He made the decision to, man, he was getting ready to kill Bam Bada. Because Bam Bada gave him that choice to make. And he was getting ready to smoke Bam Bada. You, on the other hand, hey, we already know what choice you made. But here's Poppy talking to another brother. And he's going to tell you. Watch this, y'all. Told you I'm surgical with this motherfucking shit. When I, when I zone in on you and you put me on your radar and I see that you're trying to tear me down and tear my platform down and tear the house of consciousness down and tear the whole um, conscious community down, I'm zoning in on you. I'm on to you now because I see what you're doing. My people are falling asleep. So I see what you're doing. So I got to go at you. All right? To bring dignity back into this community when we get this fucking leech and this troublemaker out of here. All he's interested in is views and, su and subscribers. That's all he care about. He don't care about Bambada. We already know he don't care about little boys and little girls, the kids. We know that already. Shout out to Lack of Black in the building. Okay? So listen to Poppy tell us the story when he spoke to his homeboy. Listen to it. Check it out. The scariest part about his book, people, that I want y'all to understand uh -huh. about Africa Bambada's right. book. Right. Every street legend, mm -hmm. uh -huh. damn near, not the corn balls, Listen not the me. choir boys. Listen. This is what I want y'all to understand. Everybody in Africa Bambada's book was a killer. Damn. Damn near everybody Listen. was a shooter. Everybody was a stick-up kid. Listen. Everybody was a gangster. This man wasn't running around just getting little vulnerable boys that you got just think is sweet. This man had every gangster in the book. I still ain't telling names of the people that was in that book. Because some of them niggas is just that dangerous. And I'm not playing with they pain like that. Do you hear this nigga? Damn that everybody who Bambada was getting was gangsters, was killers. How much of a, come on family, what gangster you know? What Nick, what shooter you know or killer you know that's going to let him run up in his rectum? That's going to pull out their penis and make you want to suck it? What kind of gangster this nigga talk? He got to be talking about a homosexual culture, y'all. Because the only homosexual gangster that I really know who's not even here no more is Mother Deer. Mother Deer was an outright gangster killer homosexual. Look him up. He will knock you out and take your manhood in Clinton Correctional Facility. See? That's the real gangster that I know. Mother Deer. Go and look him up in Clinton Correctional Facility. But this nigga said Bam Bada had a book and he was getting nothing but gangsters and killers. What kind of killers was these niggas? That Bam Bada would, uh, that he would let Bam Bada, this nigga is a fraud, y'all. He's a liar. He's a goddamn liar, man. Listen to this shit again. And y'all went for this? Because the gangsters and killers I know, nigga, if you even utter the word, come suck my penis or let me suck your penis, they killing you right there. If you're a real true gangster, check. Check, family. If you're real about your shit and you're a gangster, family. They not letting you get, man, if you even approach a brother, a real nigga with some shit like that, you dead on the spot. Am I lying, family? You talking about you're a street nigga, so if you're a street nigga, you supposed to know what I'm saying is the truth. Listen to this nigga. Bam Bada had nothing but gangsters and killers and shooters. Listen. The scariest part about his book, people, that I want y'all to understand about Africa Bam Bada's book. 
every street legend, damn near, not the cornballs, not the choir boys. This is what I want y'all to understand. Right. Everybody in Africa banned by this book. Listen. Was a killer. Damn near everybody was a shooter. Mm -hmm. Everybody was a stick up kid. Right. Everybody was a gangster. This man wasn't running around just getting little vulnerable boys that you got just think is sweet. This man had every gangster in a book. Damn. I still ain't telling names Damn. of the people that was in that book. Because some of them niggas is just that dangerous. And I'm not playing with they pain like that. Listen to this shit. That's how you know it's bullshit, y'all. So now Bambada is the most lethal motherfucking nigga in Bronx River. He don't even know and realize that he shitted on his whole fucking projects. He shitted on all the niggas. He called all the niggas in the projects hoes and fucking, you know, molesters and victims. This shit is crazy. Moving right along. I want y'all to hear this shit right here. Listen to this goddamn hypocrite. And then we're going to see that he's nothing but a fraud. Check it out. Listen to this. Stop slandering. Uh huh. Stop spreading false lies and rumors. Right. If you're going to say something about a man, use the, the truth, the truth to defy a man. Don't make stuff up uh -huh. and then slander a man's name. That is, that's what you call a, wick, a wicked piece, a beast. You're right. wicked. Excuse me. That's wicked. Uh huh. That's what I'm not feeling. Right. Did y'all hear what he said? We're going to play it one more time, and then we're going to see the slander that come out of his mouth. Check it out. He said, that's what you call a wicked beast. So he know he's a wicked motherfucker. Listen. So when you somebody that's speaking out and you waking the people up, uh -huh. they got to tarnish your image. Stop slandering. Right, stop slandering. Stop spreading false lies and stop rumors. Stop spreading false lies and rumors. If uh -huh. you're going to say something about a man, right. use the, the truth. Use the truth. The truth to defy a man. Don't make stuff up. Right. Use the truth. Don't make stuff up. Bring your receipts like I'm doing right now where the people can see it. So let's see if he's slandering or if he want to make stuff up. But he want to give everybody else some advice. Listen to this bitch. Listen. You know what you see when you look at Sarnetta? You see somebody that told you he went to jail, turned Muslim. While he was in jail being Muslim, he came home. Came home to Khalid Muhammad, acting and pretending to be Muslim. Pretending. Working with Giuliani at the same time. Infiltrating the nation of Islam. Mysteriously, boom, Khalid Muhammad died. Was Sarnetta behind that? Inquiring minds want to know. That's the questions that y'all should have asked. Now, did y'all hear that shit? But earlier, he's telling you, Sarnetta infiltrated the nation of Islam. <laughs> you see that? Come on, family. Listen to the shit that he say about me. But I pose to let him get away with it. And I think we as the people, the black community, we need to look into, look into the death of Khalid Muhammad and look into the conspiracy of Sarnetta working with Giuliani to take Khalid Muhammad down. We need to look into that, people. See, the bitch can't show y'all no proof. He can't show y'all no information, but he just come out and say that. But he said this earlier. Stop slandering. Stop spreading false lies and rumors. If you're going to say something about a man, use the, the truth. The truth to defy a man. Don't make stuff up and then slander a man's name. That is, that's what you call a, a wicked piece, a beast. You're wicked. You know what you see when you look at Sarnetta? You see somebody that told you he went to jail, turned Muslim. While he was in jail being Muslim, he came home. Came home to Khalid Muhammad, acting and pretending to be Muslim. Pretending. Working with Giuliani at... So I know that says six year old is an adult. See, here's what I need y'all people to do. Because personally, I get tired of talking about them dudes. It's like, you know, you don't really want to keep talking about them. Look at all his but lies. I the nigga said, I, I said a six year old. Listen to this and bitch. Keep that point, like you just said, 
He said six years old. People need to start taking those videos where he said this stuff. Mm -hmm. And the same way they're doing these videos on me, those are the points that y'all need to push because you're not supposed to have a man like him at the head of a, 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 a community in New York City, in the heart of New York City, which is Harlem, and you feel like it's okay to have sex with a six-year-old. The nigga said that I said that a six years old, you can have sex with people. The nigga can't show you no receipts of none of that way I said that. See, the difference with me and this nigga, he lies on me, but I show you. So when the nigga say things that I said that I said that, why he can't show y'all that? I think that would have been real good. But not only that, the nigga also goes in on my man Natural Tahuti and said, I got, listen to this. Let's listen to the nigga. Sonata, whatever happened to that brother that helped Sonata start Black News 102 in the conscious community, you know, his partner, what's his name, Natural Tahuti or some shit like that? Whatever <laughs> happened to that dude? Why you don't hear Sonata taking donations for that dude? Some say, allegedly, because I don't know. I'm new to them dudes. Mm -hmm. So I never set that man up to go to jail. See that? Anything that he would do to try to bring me down or bring my name down. See that? So that's why I got to destroy faggots like this nigga. Real men don't do that. He even told you. What kind of man are you? Listen. Stop slandering. Stop spreading false lies and rumors. If you're going to say something about a man, right. use the, the truth. Right. The truth. Right. To defy a man. Don't make stuff up and then slander a man's name. That is, that's what you call a, a wicked piece, a beast. Why would you go to the police and try to shut me down? Why would you put a warrant out on me? Why would you get an order of protection on me, Sonetta? Mm -hmm. I'm not a threat. Why? Because that's to keep me from speaking out against Ben Bada. Y'all too stupid to see it. Now, see? No, what they too stupid of is to ask you, where's your receipts? If Sarnetta went, went to the police to get an order of protection on you, why are you not showing the order of protection? Because if I went to the police to get an order of protection on you, the first thing they give you is this pink piece of paper and tell you, don't come within certain amount of feet. Check. Family. But the nigga lies. The nigga lies on me constantly. But not only do he lie on me, but the nigga even disrespect Dick Gregory, who is one of our ancestors now, who had put in so much work in this movement. Listen to what the nigga even say about Dick Gregory. Here's a nigga that, that says he been thawed and he been giving oral sex to men. My question is, how many times y'all heard this nigga said when he was having sex with his own lady that sometime he couldn't even get up. He would go limp because he would start thinking about the other shit. Y'all heard that? I, I need witnesses. I like witnesses. I could have got that. I ain't had time to cut that up. But the nigga said he couldn't even get up having sex with his own lady. But here's the question. You could get up when, with another man? You gets up? Giving an autistic man head? You can get up for that though, huh, nigga? But when it comes to the poon nanny, the power you, you can't get up for that. Something ain't right, bro. Something ain't right. You know, he always liked to sing, so fuck it, I'll sing. Something, something just ain't right. <laughs> Y'all understand what I'm saying? But the nigga can't get up for his own lady. But when it comes down to doing homosexual acts, you can get up. You don't say, oh, I go limp. I went limp. And what questions a nigga, you should question your mind when you even got to get up for another man. If I was in a situation like that and Bam said, yo, man, come get this nigga hit. I'd be like, nigga, I'm not, I'm not getting up for no shit like that. In order to get up for that, it comes where first? In the mind. Right? Is this science, y'all, that I'm breaking down right now? It happens first in the mind. The mind is what gets you up. Not just this down here. It got to be coming from where, family? Check. Check. Talk back to me, goddammit. Y'all niggas acting like y'all y'all falling back. Check. It starts from the mind first. So if this nigga is getting up for another man, but you can't get up with your lady, something ain't right, y'all. Huh?
come on, man. I'm going to leave that alone. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all, y'all niggas fall asleep. <laughs> but anyway, I hope y'all understand what the fuck I'm saying. He can get up for men, but he can't get up for his girl. But here's another thing. Um, you disrespect Dick Gregory. You disrespect Khalid Muhammad. Just by bringing Khalid in your mouth, insinuating that son that I have, you know, did something. That's disrespect to the ancestors, man. Give a fuck how y'all look at it. You disrespect the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. You disrespect so many people, but you don't look at your own self. And here's where he disrespected Dick Gregory. Check it out. Dick Gregory. I don't respect Dick Gregory, Gregory neither. That old ass man, I have no respect for him. He's a coward. Right. I don't respect Dick Gregory. Damn. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to make a video dissing him just so I can piss off the conscious community. Because y'all shout that nigga out. I don't respect Dick Gregory. I'm like, what? fuck him. Damn. Because I think he's full of shit. And I'm going to say it again for those of y'all that just came in that's watching right now. See that? He don't even respect one of our ancestors who put his life on the line, who did what he had to do, Dick Gregory. And he's an ancestor now. Instead of him saying something nice, Dick Gregory not here to defend himself. The nigga disrespects our greatest, y'all. Look at it. Let's play it again. Dick Gregory. I don't respect Dick Gregory, Gregory neither. That old ass man, I have no respect for him. He's a coward. I don't respect Dick Gregory. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to make a video dissing him just so I can piss off the conscious community. Because y'all shout that nigga out. I don't respect Dick Gregory. I'm like, fuck him. Because I think he's full of shit. And I'm going to say it again for those of y'all that just came in that's watching right now. Damn. But you want motherfuckers to respect you. A nigga who got died. A nigga who put his penis in another man's mouth. And he was up and got an erection. And, and probably bust off and all that. But you want us to respect you, bitch. The fuck out of here. See, I'm one of I'm man... I'm one of the last motherfucking soldiers you got in our community that stands up and take on this ch type of challenges. All that wolf, wolf, gorilla talk don't scare me, man. You can only do one thing to Sarnetta. Huh? Shit don't scare me, man. Come on, bro. But y'all niggas in the background and y'all cheering this fucking nigga on, making him thinking he's doing the right thing. The women that y'all need to look at them sisters that's in his chat room. The next time y'all go, for those of y'all who follow that nigga, them niggas are suspect over there. All of them. All of them are suspect over there. All right? Look at this happy-go-lucky nigga. Look at him. Look at him. But he wants y'all to respect him. Look at the lip gloss. He's using his, his girlfriend's lip gloss. Look at this nigga. But he wants you to respect him. Look at him. Look at it. Look at him. Look at his lips. What real man do that type of shit? Huh? Look at him. Look at him. Happy go lucky nigga. And just in case y'all say, nah, come on, saw y'all niggas photoshopped that saw. That ain't him. Well, I cut up a little video just to play it, just so y'all can see that is not Photoshop. Here you go. I bring receipts, man. I'm not here to play with y'all. I'm not here to play with y'all. No real man does this type of shit to his lips, man. Give a fuck what nobody say. See, this way I get the, the clips I froze it to clips of it. I seek refuge in a law from the rejected Satan. I so I'm showing you that it's not Photoshop. I'm showing you that this, this nigga wears lip gloss with the white ball on the top. He wears lip gloss, family. But that I guess that's some real shit for men to do. Right? I guess because he could talk tough and talk gangster, y'all give him a pass. Okay, I got you. <laughs> I got you. I'll give you a prime example. The dude that stabbed him up. Uh-oh. Oh, we got Where is that. he? We did that. We did that. Where is he? We did that. Okay. Let me go past that. Check this out. The nigga made a choice. That's all he do is lie on me. 
I killed Khalid Muhammad. I was in on killing Khalid Muhammad. I set up Natsu Tahuti. Um, I said something about a 16, a six-year-old boy can have sex and all that. I did all of that, right? Okay. Okay. You're a Muslim, so this applies to you. Check it. Lie, you lie, your pants on fire, hope the devil burn your ways. Lie, you lie, your pants on fire, hope the devil burn your ways. Why did you lie? This is my heart. It don't want to cry. Stop you with my ball. Girl, why did you lie? This is my heart. It don't want to cry. Girl, why did you lie? Why did you lie? Fucking liar. Hope the devil burn your ass. Because you believe in it because you're a Muslim. A fake ass Muslim. Fuck out of here. But let me play this clip right here to show you that he tried to get the dude that was fucking with Bam too to say, yeah, say Bam about to molested you. But the dude told Poppy, no, it wasn't molestation. I, I, I was a willful participant. This is deep, y'all. This is deep, y'all. Told you, man. I'm coming with receipts. I'm not saying what a nigga said. Check it out. Because sometimes a nigga needs to shut the fuck up. I'm going to get it. If you're saying it, I'm going to take time out and listen to what you said. Check out what the nigga said. My question was, when no, did you realize this, this shit ain't normal? Like, I ain't yeah, supposed to be coming here no more. Like, when did that hit you? Yeah. Yeah, talk about Honestly that. speaking, it, it, it been hit me from the first time. Okay. But at the same time, it was like going back home was, going back home with mom Dukes was crazy too. So it was okay. a choice. Not to say my mom. This is where to show you that Poppy made a choice between staying home with my moms, getting disciplined like all the other children that be in the house, or let me go up to Bambada house where they got greased, where they greet you when you first walk in and slap you with the grease and you go in the back room and you look at a book full of penises and do all that shit. I'd rather go up there with them. I don't want to stay at my mama house. So let's go to it. Listen to this nigga. My question was, when did you realize? Good question, Doggy Diamond. When did you realize <laughs> that this shit was wrong? Let's go to it. My question was, when did you realize this shit ain't normal. Like, right. I ain't right. yeah. supposed to be right. coming here no more. Right. Like, when did that hit you? Yeah. Honestly speaking, it, uh -huh. it, it been hit me from the first time. Okay. But at the same time, it was like going back home, was, going back home with mom Dukes was crazy too. Okay. Not to say my moms was a bad moms. We just wasn't getting along. Pops wasn't there. You know, I, I was getting ass whoop, my ass whooped for every goddamn thing. Right. So, in some cases, Bam was an outlet. What? But not an outlet at the same time. Yeah. Like, damn. So once you get over the 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 the, the, the monster in the bedroom so with him, which is really really bad, it's like all right. <laughs> okay, I got you. Once you get over the monster in the bedroom, you know. God damn, you ain't want to go through the discipline. Dad was in there. Well, god damn it, you talking about the whole goddamn um America's black family. Dad is not in the house. I grew up without my father in the house. I'm not gonna go up in no motherfucking homosexual house. Especially when I go in the room or as soon as I knock on the door and I see all these niggas, as soon as they greet you, they got Vaseline and all this shit and you go in the room. Nigga, I'm getting, man, I'm not stepping foot in there. You said this. Soon as you walk in the house, it smell like ass. You said that, nigga. You said it. So, all right, when this is, when this is taking place, when do you realize you're a victim? Because, you know, some people might yeah. say, so why the fuck you went back if it uh -huh. happened one time? When That's do you realize you're being victimized here? All right, so let me, let me break something down to you. Okay. Make people understand something. What made it easy for Bam to do what he did to me because Bam wasn't the first one to molest at me. Oh. We clear? Yeah, we good. Bam, Bam wasn't the first one to molest me. So oh. it was just like open season when he came along because I was already broken in. Oh. Okay. Mm. Did y'all hear that? Bam Bada was not the first one to molest him. He was already broken. And women talk like that. Am I right or wrong, y'all? Oh, man, I, I was already broken in by my first love. My first love broke me in, child. 
Oh, no, girl. You know, I was broken in. I was not no virgin. Hell no. I was not no virgin when Bad by the Tar touched me, nigga. Hell no. I was already broken in. Who talk like that besides women? Listen to this bitch. So, all right, when this is when this is taking place, uh-huh. when do you realize you're a victim? Because, you know, some people might say, so why the fuck you went back if it happened one time? When do you yeah. realize you're being victimized here? All right, so let me, let me break something down to you. Break okay. it down, nigga. Make people understand something. What made it easy for Bam to do what he did to me because Bam wasn't the first one to molest at me. What? We clear? Yeah, yeah. we good. Bam, Bam wasn't the first one to molest me, so it was just like open season when he came along because I was already broken in. Okay. It was like open season when Bam Bada came along because I was already broken in. Let that shit marinate, y'all. You was already broken in. Who was it, Poppy? Why are you not telling us about that one? Why is it just about Bam Bada? Because Bam Bada is a fucking legend. That's why, y'all. And if he bring up the other person that molested him, we'll find out that it was the nigga that they was having a relationship. That's why he can't bring up the other one and lie on the other man. See, Bam Bada not going to come out. But if you bring up the other nigga, he going to come out and say, hold the fuck up, nigga. Hold up. Don't lie on me and say that I, did, I molested you and I took that. Nigga, we was in a relationship, nigga. See? Y'all don't see what's going on. Wake the fuck up, you dumb motherfuckers. Wake up. I did. I woke up. Check this out. Here we go. In America. Here we go. This is where Poppy tried to coach the dude to say he molested you so he could do a video with him. But the brother said, nah. It wasn't molestation. I, I, I willfully gave my ass up to the nigga. <laughs> y'all niggas got to pay attention to what this nigga's saying. But y'all not. Y'all caught up on his fantasy. Y'all not paying attention. Let's go. Let's get it. In America. Yeah. When you get caught having sex. Right. With anybody mm -hmm. under the age of 18 or rather in New York where Africa Bam Bada live. I don't know what some of these other states. Uh -huh. You are considered to, to be, uh, or you will be charged with. The charge will be statutory rape. I agree with you. I agree. So now, we won't play the game that homeboy played on the phone. Listen. Because we had an interesting conversation yeah. when he sat up there and said, you mentioned my name. So I <laughs> said to him, I'm like, yo, I don't know who you got in the background, but Bam got you too. It wasn't molestation. Nigga, did you realize what you said to me? See? See? Molestation is not when when you willingly, that's not molestation. All right, so now I'm going to put it in proper terms. See that? Thanks for telling the me dude what I already nigga, knew. It that wasn't you enjoyed. molestation. Let's get it. Listen, he's on the phone talking to one of the niggas. And, the, and uh, he's on the phone for a reason, probably trying to get him to come out. So that dude, why do you think nobody else is coming out? Because they know it's not, it wasn't forced on them, that they willfully made that choice. You see? But Poppy want to be the fucking daredevil to see if that he could get the other nigga to come out. But no, the nigga said, no, it wasn't molestation. So Poppy said, oh, did you forget what you told me? No, he didn't forget, nigga. He got in the doggy style on his own, bitch. Fuck is you talking about? Let's get it. Listen. In America. Listen. When you get caught. Nigga, talk having so sex fucking much. With anybody under the age of 18, or rather in New York, where Africa Bear Bada live, I don't know what some of these other states, you are considered to, to be, uh, or you will be charged with. The charge will be statutory rape. I agree. So now we won't play the game that homeboy played on the phone because we had an interesting conversation what when he conversation? sat up there. It said, you mentioned my name. So I said to him, I'm like, yo, I don't know who you got in the background, but Bam got you too. It wasn't molestation. Nigga, right. did you realize what you said to me? Yeah. Molestation is not when, when you willingly, that's not molestation. All right. So now I'm going to put it in proper terms, but thanks for telling me what I already knew that you enjoyed. Your fornication and you with did a man. Too. And you did too, Thanks nigga. for telling me that. But in the law, for all you people that like to play mind games, legally, 
the terms would be statutory rape. Correct. I agree. Legally. Yeah. Right? Statutory yes. rape is right. what it's called. Right. It's not called you was a teenager. Right. It's not called you knew what you was doing. It's called statutory rape. Yeah, find a way out of that shit, nigga. <laughs> See, he tried to get his man to come out and say, yeah, say he raped me. But the dude is smarter than that. He said, I don't want to get in that shit. It wasn't rape. The nigga didn't rape and hold me down. I made a choice. My choice was to give it up. Give up the bunkie, nigga. That was my choice. I gave up the bunkie, nigga. I'm not going to go up in here and try to lie and like you doing. You do your shit on your own. See? So now that's why Poppy mad. Uh, I know. Let go your name. Say not really can't even shout me out. Everybody in these projects been knowing no more. You go heard? back to the wire, y'all. I just thought them coming down on y'all, baby boy. Think about working a flush and run over the east side so things cooler might. Y'all work. <laughs> So what up, man? You don't want to lay over here tonight? Nah. Sure. Nah. I'll go see my mom. Keep it close. Hear that? Did y'all see the wire? Go check out the wire. Who the man, huh? Go and check out the wire. That shit was crazy. Let me hear that shit again. I'm telling you, them fucking people hate to be relied on. Yo, you always got to talk like that, man. What? F this and F that. I give it up. I give it up. I lose tough, nigga, huh? What I mean to say. You give it up, tough nigga. Nobody want to hear them dirty words, man. Especially coming from such a beautiful mouth. Nigga, leave me the fuck alone. I'm surgical with this shit. When it comes to battling, nigga, I'm surgical with this shit, nigga. <laughs> I don't know what you thought or what you heard, but I'm surgical when it comes to this shit. Real talk. I don't play with this. I do not play with this. You hear me? I do not play with this. Stop lying. Lie, lie, your pants on fire. Hope the devil burn your way. 